not react to a sh test. I am telling you, a lot of women are just testing you because today your boy Blasphemous HD has found a video to help you guys get laid. You know this is YouTube, and there's a video on how to do everything, even on how to get the butt cheeks. I'm not gonna tell you how to get the butt cheeks because if I told you how, everybody in the world would be like, number one, you probably don't know what you're talking about. Number two, for a man to talk about getting the butt cheeks, that's sexist, racist, and misogynist. But what if I told y'all there was a okay looking female that was out giving the advice instead? Let's do this. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am doing okay for now. And um, I am making a video about how to make a woman want you sexually yes because you know now she wants you but you want to fuck so now you gotta make her want you sexually and it's not hard actually it's just like um i think a lot of you guys just jump right in like you being too sexual too quick and she's like yo that turned women off and then even if she was probably wanting to yep now that you came on to her like too aggressively yep. she's like uh no yeah i'm not fucking him you know yep. it's just you did it too quick yep and maybe in her mind she starts feeling like oh he only sees me as a sex object which, which is 100 percent true i used to be quick and like oh you don't like me right now oh well, fuck you then bitch and that's not the right way to go yeah you know i mean because if you're hunting you don't want to lose your prey which is what i plan on doing with the girl because church is important duh you guys were thinking dirty. I don't do any of that stuff. That's nasty. I mean, I know a lot of you guys do see women as that, but now that she feels that, she's like, no, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. So today I'm telling you how to kind of go about it step by step to where you create that sexual tension where she's like, yo, you know how I hold my, my shirt all the time. But yeah. All right, look, just to give y'all a little bit of context, for this, this works because I've seen this video about four or five months ago and used it. Maybe, and it worked. Maybe, it worked. She's gonna be like, uh, I need this right now. I need to go wide open right now because I'm ready for the dick. Sorry. Yes, all right, so let's go. Number one, you gotta look and smell dangerous which does not mean don't bathe for some of you guys i've been to the conventions and i've i've smelled con funk some dudes even if they know they're going to be around hundreds of people still won't shower that does not what smell dangerous means man or ladies because women be hunting too that don't mean don't wear clean clothes or bathe like that's not what that means i'm just making sure y'all know I don't know if you know what I mean by that. You already know me with scent is uh, just crazy. You know, you have a personal scent and it's just like, ooh, it takes me. And I'm like, yes. So if you guys can have that, that's a plus. And everybody can have that. You just gotta go buy some fucking cologne. Uh, go buy Tom Ford. And so shower. It's pricey, but yo, that shit smells so good. And, and shower you know, actually, as well. I'm gonna give you a tip. If you guys don't wanna buy some stuff like that is like super expensive, there is uh, some website. It sounds like I'm about to do a commercial or not ad, but it's not. Not Pornhub. It's hub. some websites uh, that where you can find cheaper but real cologne of like those expensive cologne. Like the a pawn shop. You can find like a, a cheap version of it, but it's still the real deal. Not the pawn shop. You know shop. the little tester that's like at the at the store that everybody is trying on, so they get the testers. Then, therefore, the the thing they're gonna send you is gonna be full, but it's gonna be sixty dollars instead of like three hundred and thirty. So you can get those scents. Just a prayer. Okay, back to the subject. So you gotta smell dangerous, and then you gotta look dangerous. So maybe women love. I mean, what what look. Dangerous sometimes is like a leather jacket or some dark clothes or if you have a bike like that makes people think you're dangerous Not So basically we're all black clothes like this. So like look this right here I went out last night and I can tell you from first-hand experience nothing happened first of all because I'm waiting for marriage But this makes it happen. I'm not gonna get up because I either do or don't have on pants right now but showering and wearing Cologne 
makes you smell dangerous. If you don't shower or wear cologne, you just smell bad. It's not dangerous. It's just putrid. It's completely different. I can assure you it's making nobody wet. I'm dry just thinking about it. I'm not saying you got to go get a bike if that's not your thing, but I'm telling you, that's something that makes people feel like, oh, it's dangerous. A bike. Or how you walk. Is your walk confident? Or yeah. can you maintain eye contact? All of that is something that shows that, yes, you're confident, but you're like dangerous a little bit. Yeah. And women love that shit and they love to feel like uh, if there's an issue, he's going to protect us. And they, even without talking or nothing, Stab a motherfucker for this. <laughs> After saying that line, I can hear the song in my head now. <laughs> Thank you, Bouncer, for making that music. That shit's funny as hell. They see that when you walk in, when you walk in the room, they can sniff it. And yeah, a woman want to feel like, oh, him? Nobody's going to fuck with him. That's the look that you need to go for. If you feel like, oh, I look like Mr. Nice Guy and uh, everybody can walk all over me, she's not gonna like you. So, ain't try to suck look no and dick. smell dangerous. She ain't gonna Number suck it. Two, communicate your way out of the friend zone because you are pushing bitches. You don't wanna be so friendly. I mean, you do wanna be friendly, but you don't wanna be put in the friend zone. So how you do that friend is zone. like when you go talk to the girl, you make it clear that your intentions I'm not to be a friend. It's weird because you can't say it exactly. You can't walk up on a female and be like, hey, look, you may not know we fucking, but we fucking. It's just a matter of time. So you don't give her half compliments, shit like, oh, you kind of look nice. No, you don't say shit like that. Also, you don't judge her for looking sexy. You actually notice it and appreciate it and you let her know, yo, that dress on you? Yes. She got to know that you're not seeing her as a friend because a friend might not say this type of shit, especially if it's a guy and a, and a girl. They probably won't say shit like that. But no, you're like, yo, that dress on you? Don't tell her she's beautiful. Never compliment women. They literally do not like it. Like, you'll hear females say all the time, I don't like when random guys compliment me. So what you do is, you know, yo, like, that dress on you make you look like you kind of grown a little bit of a, you know what I mean? Like, you're growing a little bit of an ass back there and shit. You know what I mean? Like, little stuff like that. Don't, you can't be super duper on there, you know? Good choice. You know, so she knows you're trying to fuck. I mean, not exactly. She doesn't know you're trying to fuck, but she knows you're not trying to be a friend. Number three, use the power of innuendos. I don't know how to say that word. I hope I said it right. But what the innuendo is, is pretty much you say something that sounds innocent, but it's not. Like she can take it the way that she wants. Like for example, then my friend came over and he destroyed my vase and the whole floor was wet. Yes, destroy, wet. Those words can be taken the way she wants. Obviously we're talking about a vase supposedly, but in her mind she's like, oh, the floor was wet, okay. My pussy can be wet too. Oh, she might not even realize, but in her mind, it's gonna start like making her feel like, okay. Or you can say shit like, yeah, I played football. I was so fucking wet after the workout. It's crazy. I had to take my shirt off. Oh, he was wet. Okay, so now she's picturing you wet. Oh, he took his shirt off. Now she's picturing you with your shirt off. Yes, you didn't say anything crazy, but you did put some type of pictures in her mind that's what you do and even another one maybe you say it like you don't think it's nasty either huh so when she brings up nasty shit you gotta act like what are you talking about huh? your mind's in the gutter you gotta accuse her of being nasty and now her mind gonna be in the gutter which is also where you're probably going to be making sweet sweet garbage covered love to her you know inside of the classy dumpster in the back of a 7-eleven you, know? you guys are sitting outside or it's a venue inside and outside tell her um, I want you to come inside with me. Oh yeah? In her mind, inside, with me, I want you to come. The whole sentence sounds very dirty, but very clean at the same time. Watch, it's coming in her mind, it is. Number four, now that you got going and you guys are talking, use the triangle gaze, you know? So you look at the left eye, go to the mouth, go to the right eye left mouth left mouth don't ask me why this shit works but it does don't ask me okay i don't know 
but it works. I think what it does is, at least from my own experiences, when you're talking to a female and you're staring directly in her eyes, it starts feeling awkward after a while, right? But if you're triangle gazing a female from left eye to right eye to mouth, left eye, right eye, you're giving her the same feeling of concentrating directly on her, but with none of the awkwardness that just staring directly at one part of her face would give her. Oh, oh I mean, you, you, got, you got it, because I don't know less than right. But uh, yes, it's going to create some sexual tension because she's going to see you looking at her lips and then she's going to be like, he wants to kiss me or do I want to kiss him? You're just like putting seeds, like throwing the seeds in her brain. Lots of Watch. seeds. At the end of the night, the bitch is going to be like... Covered in seed everywhere. I'm talking about on the curtains, on the ceiling, the bathroom stall, glass. It's everywhere. The seeds of... of uh, doubt that she wants to not sleep with you which means she does want to sleep with you i'm using my sexy zoolander stare tell me it's working <laughs> come to my house like or can i go to your house please please fuck me now number five accidentally touch her so again do not go touch the pussy accidentally the because no or the ass or the titty because don't do that yeah don't do that what the fuck is wrong with you yeah but no you know accidentally touch her hand her shoulder the lower back uh anything you want be that's not nasty touch any part of her in there that's not sexual which gets her used to touching you and starts thinking, ooh, you could touch me in other places. Besides the thing I said, maybe not her face yet, but accidentally, because I don't know how you accidentally touch her face. Slap but shot accidentally. Supposedly. Because bitch. what's that gonna do? Since it was an accident, she's gonna start thinking, yo, okay, he touched me like that was very light. So I'm wondering uh, if he grabs me for real and with intention, how is that gonna feel? This shit works on me, like, you do a little bit and then if i am starting to like you i'm like yo fucking grab me like, how does it feel when he grabs me or if he grabs me you know you're putting seeds again lots of seeds yes you gotta touch the fucking bitch i don't care what you guys are saying you gotta touch her yeah. number six combine teasing with touching again you gotta touch and again you gotta act like it's not so much an accident this time but like it's you're playing so maybe you're like damn you work out girl and then you go and trying to touch her like this like to to touch the muscle stuff like that i'm telling you you have to break that touch barrier and then obviously she's gonna laugh oh stop it stop it you know but she takes it as a compliment too number seven when you feel like it's okay and she's kind of relaxed what you need to do you need to try to kiss i'm sorry you got you gotta try if the vibe all of this she's giggling everything you did so far she's laughing she hasn't said no to anything you're doing you need to fucking go for the kiss a little let's take some risk so you know you guys are having a good time you're sitting next to her and only do this at your house when you've already got the movie playing don't do it in places where she can be judged for doing sexual shit you know what i mean like do it where no one can see nothing try to kiss her on the cheek go for the cheek first because this is safer especially if she's not ready it's safer for you and for her so you go to the cheek and then you see her reaction you see if she giggles if she's like mm -hmm, you know and if she's kind of like open to it if she's like oh try to dodge your kiss you already know what the fuck is going on do not go for the mouth after that but if she giggles and everything is cool you know as she does like back away or whatever slow way down right stop trying to kiss her and then pay attention to the movie that you've already put on like i told you to that you're watching and then 10 minutes later start doing the same thing again this time she'll probably be down like she'll be warm to it so when she's warm to it then you can move on but if she's like ah then don't move on you can move in to the chick so maybe i mean me i like progressive you know maybe you start here then here here then and then ah! i bite your fucking face off but you don't you don't do that so you go slower slower and then eventually you kiss her so you kiss even with the kiss it has to be gradual so you do maybe just a little peck and leave it alone maybe then after that you come back and kiss a little harder and harder and then it's fucking passion and then ah, you put your tongue and everything 
a little tongue because you know i've told you about that sloppy dumb shit a little tongue and you see how she reacts to that and then you you go and you chill again number eight do not react to a shit test i am telling you a lot of women are just testing you because they want to pick the best for themselves you know so i know it's not fair and all that shit okay but a woman actually wants you to pass. She gives you those tests uh, just to realize like, okay, I like him, okay. Women are not shit testing fat guys that don't have jobs. I understand that, men. So if she was shitty to you while you were in a dating scenario with her, she was shit testing you. And if you got mad, you failed. If you don't give a shit about the shit test, because you already got women or this is not the only girl you've been on a date with this week, then you're going to pass and you're going to get the butt cheeks. That's why dudes who have girlfriends get women throwing vagina at them because their girlfriends always shit testing them and they're passing the girlfriend shit test so they're able to pass all the other girls shit test so all the women are throwing their ass at them and guys that don't have a girlfriend or don't get women they're failing every shit test because they're getting mad and hey you bitch don't you talk to me that way they're failing all the shit tests and the girls is like oh my god i was about to actually give this guy a chance Ooh, i gotta run i could be with somebody like that that's what they're testing but they really do want you to pass because they want to like you. Women want to be in relationships. So she's not looking for like, okay, how can he fail so I don't like him? No. They're like, I'm going to do that. I mean, it's not conscious again. They're going to do some shit and they want to see your reaction. So again, what I tell you about them shit tests, you got to keep it cool. You can be defensive. You yep. can get mad. You got to yep. actually joke about it mm -hmm. or ignore it and mm -hmm. act like the bitch didn't say shit. Yep. Yes, that is the way you're going to pass any shit test. Mm. Number nine, you can hold her hand for longer than expected. So, you know, maybe now you got cool, you guys kissed a little bit, now you hold her hand. And when you feel like it's a little awkward, stay with that. Maybe she'll take her hand away, but maybe she won't. So just stay there and then keep talking. And then if she does take her hand away, you just have to keep talking and don't become emotional and don't become mad. And that's another shit test. You'll pass it. I know you felt like, yo, I'm holding for too long. Don't care. Keep holding and keep talking to her. And then eventually that's just going to become no more that, okay, he's just holding my hand while we're having a conversation. That's where you want to be because then now she's like, okay, there is this level of intimacy. You guys already kissed. Now the hands. Next thing. You ain't, to tell you the truth though, you ain't really got to hold a female's hand for super duper long in order to get her to smash. You know what I'm saying? I've never done that. I've never held a girl's hand like we were dating in order to smash. I've never done it. But all the other stuff she's saying rings true. You know what I'm saying? You do. I still have to pass shit tests even to this day. A week and a half ago, I was hanging out with this one chick and I was trying to smash her at her crib. She said no. So, you know, I stopped, put my clothes on, and I was getting ready to leave. And she was like, no, still hang out with me, still hang out with me. I wasn't mad or nothing, but I was like, bro, if we ain't smashing, like, I'm just gonna go and make videos. Like, I'm not about to waste my time if we ain't smashing. And she says, she's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna go hang out with somebody else, blah, 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 blah. And I just acted like I didn't even hear it. I just kept going and just left, came home, did videos, blah, blah, blah. Ended up smashing like a day or two later. You just can't care. That's why women are always calling us selfish bastards. Women literally penalize you for caring about their feelings by not giving you any. But if you don't care about their feelings, they'll say you're a pig. I would much rather be seen as the sexy douchebag than the pushover kiss my anus, but not actually because I don't like you like that. We should just be friends, guy. Huh? And also, obviously, if she pulls her hand out, you, know, you already know what's going on. And if she doesn't, she's most likely interested in getting some action. Yes. Number 10, stare into her eyes. Yes, women love that. She might herself feel a little uncomfortable and kind of look away, like, <laughs> you know. But if you are able to do that right there, you set yourself apart because a lot of men cannot keep their eye contact going. And uh, it just shows your dominance, especially if she cannot hold the contact, she's going to be submissive. Number 11, tell naughty and kinky stories. But don't go overboard. Don't be like, yeah, I was fucking her. My I don't know. It depends on what she says. But me personally, I don't talk about sex with a girl unless we've already been having sex. They got hot. Like, 
that's not the type of story you're telling. You're like, I went to this uh, waterfall and the waterfall was so crazy. It started raining. Tell we these stories. Yeah, wet, this good. It was steamy. It yeah. was such a hot day. It felt yeah. so good. Then when I went back to my hotel room, I realized that the washing machine wasn't working. So I had to fucking sleep naked that night because all my clothes were dirty. And it was such a hot night. I was so sweaty. It was just crazy. And then in the morning when I woke up, you know, I was sharing this, uh, this place with, um, with some, some other people and I had no clothes. So, you know, I put this little towel around my waist and I was so scared that somebody would catch me. But, you know, I went and I had to go fix the fucking washing machine because, you know, I couldn't uh, wear them wet clothes again. You, you know, you find a story where it's like wet, hot, steamy. Uh, I had only uh, a little towel. I had to sleep naked. The waterfall, all that shit, you know, you're sending, sending like signals of like hotness, wetness, fuckiness, like all that shit. She will start thinking, yo, <laughs> yo, I wish I was there. Like that story is so fucking, ugh. I wish I was there. But in your mind, how you said it, you didn't say anything. Okay, so look, this is what you got to do, guys. You have to be able to talk about this type of stuff with her without getting a hard on. Don't get horny when you're doing this stuff because she'll see it and she'll be like oh he's doing this on purpose you never wanted to know it's on purpose always it's an accident it's your brain you're nasty i've been thinking about marvel superhero movie you're the one who's who's thinking of the dirty stuff be sexual you just was telling a story number 12 be a dangerous gentleman so i know i say dangerous earlier but like you gotta be a gentleman too like for example you open the door for her no. yes because you motherfuckers are opening the fuck i am bitch absolutely not don't open no doors for no females nigga not unless you going first and she walking behind you don't run in front of no female opening no goddamn door bro don't do that it makes you look like a punk her vagina gonna get drier bro don't 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 do that be a gentleman too no. like for example you open the door for her yes no. because you motherfuckers are opening doors the fuck we you is, open bitch. the door for her we ain't open no and door, then bitch. you lead her by the lower back Maybe. that shows dominance that Maybe. shows that you are a gentleman so it no. just shows that you are Nigga. Civilized, no, don't that be you civilized. have manners, no, but you are a strong man. Uh, I disagree with her on that. I don't do none of that shit. I don't get compliments. Make a female feel comfortable and safe, yes, but I'm not going to. Oh, you want me to open your jar for you, bitch? Oh, God, you want some water? You okay? Don't do none of that. No, uh uh. I don't open no car doors. I don't open no no room doors. I don't do none of that shit, bro. You're a little bit of a savage. A little bit. That, that you know, you gotta have this little. It's better to be a savage than to be the gentleman. Understand that? Also, understand that when I, when, if she's saying, oh, don't be a savage, what she's saying is, don't call her a bitch unless she's really acting like one. That's how I'm not savage. I'm not gonna call a bitch a bitch to her face unless she really barking up that tree. You feel me? That's as civilized as I am because it's just the dog and pony show of getting ass. That's what it is. It's a dog and pony show. You have to act just like Leonardo DiCaprio acts in the movie. You gotta act in a certain way to get her to run the booty cheeks. That's all it is. That's the game. I do it. Smart dudes do it. Females out here trying to convince you, no, be yourself. Don't act like a guy that gets women just so I'll fuck you the first night. You gotta be a gentleman so I make you wait for six years and get pregnant by four dudes and then only date you once I'm fat and ugly. Stay drowning in butt cheeks, my friends. Don't believe None of the bullshit that females is trying to go, oh my God, you gotta be polite. And then that's always the guy who's friend zoned, who just watches her get plowed out by guys like me. And I don't even care. I'll care some, but if she hit me up in the middle of the night, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Please come and get me. Unless it's a real emergency, I'm not coming through. I'm not gonna do it. You will, but I won't. And I'm the dude she's boning, which isn't fair. So don't be a gentleman, man. A combo for women to feel like, ooh, like her pussy would be like, Tingling. Yes. Oh, another thing that you can do is like, you know, when you're at a restaurant, you pull the chair for her. And then when she sits down, you whisper a little compliment in her ear. Don't do that. Never do that. No, and then no, you're a simp. Don't do it. You just added three weeks on the how long you got to wait to smash. That's all you're doing. Don't do it. You can if you want. Matter of fact, do do that. Because I'm not going to. Good luck. Hope it works out. Number 13, hopefully... We're doing one of this in that evening. If the bitch don't like you, either you did it wrong or she just wasn't gonna like you regardless. 
So now that she likes you and maybe you found a way to get back to her place or she's back at yours, now what you do, you got to perfect the art of taking clothes off. Yes. Because you know, maybe now she's just like, okay, we're just gonna make out. Never take off a piece of clothing before she's taken off that piece of clothing. So if her shirt is on, you keep your shirt on. If she takes her pants off, you can take your pants off too. But if her pants are on, do not take your pants off. Because now it's, nigga. <laughs> you giving off real this vibes, bro. If she's taking her clothes off while you guys are talking, saying stuff like, ooh, like, I didn't know you were like this. That's how you know you're in the right place. You take your clothes off too when she's doing that. She's ready. La, la, la. No, bitch, we're not just making out, we're fucking. Yes. So when you guys are starting to make out, you know you take a piece of clothing off of her and then you go back and you kiss a little bit. Don't be taking all the clothes out, like take everything off, like right away. That might like scare her. She skipped a step. So when you get her alone and you guys, it's important to be playing a movie I suggest something with not very many sex scenes in it. The less sex scenes in the movie you put on, the better. So I say Marvel Avengers or some shit like that, right? Three hour movie, perfect. Put the movie on, everything's interesting. You start kissing her neck, blah, 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 blah. Then you move your hand down to her stomach. Rub on her stomach a little bit while you're still kissing on her neck. And then you take that same hand while you're still kissing on her neck, move it down to her thigh, start rubbing it around on her thighs and whatnot while still kissing her on her neck, you're escalating. Then you move it up to her titty, you start playing with that while you're still kissing her on her neck and escalating. If she ain't stop you, cause you're still kissing her and the movie's still playing, then you move your hand down to her vagina and now you start kissing on her boob and start kissing on her stomach and stuff while you playing with a happy place. It should be murder she wrote. If she stops you at any point, just stop, chill, and concentrate on the movie for 10 minutes and then start all over again from step one. I think with somebody that you're just starting to have sex with, or for the first time, I think you should like take the time to take her clothes off so she don't feel rushed, she don't have to start thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? No, just take the, the top off first. Then you kiss, you kiss. Then you take, I don't know, a sock off. Then you kiss, maybe you wanna kiss her feet. Yes. <clears throat> Ah! And then don't be out here kissing females feet, bro. At least I don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I don't do none of that shit, bro. Don't do I don't do that shit. And you take the pants off. You know you take your time. A piece of clothing for some kisses. Another piece of clothing for other pieces. It's like kind of like you're thanking her. Okay, can I can I take your pants off now, bitch? Yes. Okay, now I kiss you. Here, you're happy now. Yes, and then eventually she's all the way naked and you're right there. Like a fucking horse. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I hope that's not, I mean, maybe that's how you guys fucking, I don't know. But yes, so that's it. So I hope this was helpful. I hope <laughs> that this will work for you. You should try. I hope when you do smash these females and you use this on, that's exactly what you do up in it. Yeah! Yeah, bitch, yeah! Oh <laughs> oh my god that laugh made my tooth feel better <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> try but first of all always make sure that she's okay that she is willing to do all these things but with all of this you will feel like if she's not willing i'm telling you do not jump to another to another thing you don't really have to do all that in order but make sure that you don't like keep on going at it and at it when you see like she's refusing the kiss on the cheek and then you still go for the mouth. Don't do that shit. Oh, you're holding her hand and she, and she take the hand away. Like, yo, you're not seeing the signals at this point. So make sure you read into um, how she reacts to all the little stuff that you're, um, that you're setting. And also uh, something I forgot to say, it's like the whole night what you gotta make her feel is that she is complying to whatever you're asking. Every time you ask for something big or small, she needs to say yes. The more she says yes, the more it's showing you like, yes, she wants me. Like for example, um, let's go to the bar. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab you a drink. Okay, all them shit, you know. A really good trick to use is leave the lights on and then you turn the movie on and you guys are watching the movie and you're messing with her. And then right at the point where you start like kissing on her titties or whatever, just be like, hey, can you go turn the light off? If she gets up and goes turn the lights off, it's game over. That's it.
is popping. Y'all making babies. I swear to God, y'all better be wearing condoms, bro. I'll punch a pregnant female right in her stomach. Who put that in you? Sweet meats bitches better be using jimmies. Uh, or sometimes it's not even in words, it's in action. You're gonna try to kiss her. If she doesn't go away, that's her saying yes. Everything, you gotta read into it. I'm sorry, it's difficult, but women don't like to really express yeah. in the beginning because you know after that, they're gonna express their feeling all day long. Oh, yeah. But right there in that stage, you gotta try to cater to them, especially if it's a good girl and if you like her, you know, hey, and that you like her, you know you can do that shit for her. So that's all I get. Oh, and also, never hang out with a female that you're boning more than two days a week. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Make sure to go check out Melly Monaco. You can find a lot more of these type of videos on her channel. She be smashing females too. So, you know, she be teaching us how to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome. Twism.